The only church that was destroyed in 9-11 is finally reopening as a national shrine. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Church served the faithful in Lower Manhattan for almost 90 years. It was destroyed by falling debris on that terrible day. He had already started at this point working for Cantor Fitzgerald. St. Nick's has a special meaning for one parishioner whose brother died on 9-11. I grew up knowing that this church was here and would visit, but then um, I got to know it more um, because my brother John worked at the World Trade Center and he would come to St. Nicholas when it was open, you know, either before work or after work and light a candle. The loss of the church came to mean something greater. When we discovered about the fact that St. Nicholas was also lost, you know, we, we thought that there was some kind of a message there, you know, that the victims did not die alone. I remember my mom saying that because she was such a devout Christian, that, um, that John and the other victims were being cradled by St. Nicholas. The new church, a national shrine, overlooks the World Trade Center Memorial Plaza. We are part of America. We are. New York strong. We are going to rebuild, and we wanted to rebuild a St. Nicholas shrine that would be a shrine for the entire country and for the world to see that it is a light on a hill. September 10th, when we light the church from within, represents the triumph of literally the triumph of light over darkness. And John's sister wants the St. Nicholas Shrine to be a place where she can honor her brother and where other families can reckon with their losses. Being able to come and worship at the site of my brother's death in a beautiful chapel that not only honors John, but all the victims that died that day and is a symbol of this rebirth is unbelievably important to me now. This is Inside Edition Digital.